What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do a video and show you uh, a very low level, beginner's level uh, way to hook up a solar panel system. I'm going to try to make this, um, use as little jargon and, and dumb this down so that anyone can understand how this works. It's really not that complicated. Obviously, in any system, the first thing that you need is going to be a solar panel. In this case, I just have a small 10 watt solar panel for demonstration purposes, but they range in size dramatically. They can be as big as a door, um, and then they can obviously be small enough that you could mount in, in inconspicuous places like this one. Uh, the first setup, there's two different types of setups um, out there. There's a grid tied setup, and then there is an off-grid setup. This, the first one we're going to go over is an off-grid setup. Basically, the, the main difference is that you're going to be charging batteries to store the power instead of using the power on demand. So, in this, in this case, you need to... The, uh, the power source is obviously the solar panel, and then you need it connected to a charge controller. Um, this one is just a cheap one um, that I, I play with for, for testing purposes. Um, so each one will be labeled. It's very easy to understand, very uh, straightforward, but it, it has a little picture of a solar panel here. And you connect the red wire, which is positive, to the positive, and the black wire, which is negative, to the negative. Um, there's only two wires in a, in a direct current system like this. This is a, a DC system. Um, not AC like like your house uses and it is also most solar panels are only 12 volts um, Well the the easier the beginner ones are are only 12 volts, so um, You connect the input here um, and then the next uh, Picture is for a battery and here I've got a, a battery you need some storage medium a way to store the power so um, you will hook up the charge controller to, to the battery. Again, the red is positive and black is negative. Okay, so now that's connected. Now we have, we have power. Um, the third part is for the load. Now a load is just a term for anything that is going to use the power. Um, in this case, I'm going to demonstrate with a computer case fan since it's 12 volts, uh, just for easy demonstration purposes. <clears throat> so, obviously, it's powering. Um, we, we don't have any sunlight on the panel, so it's using the battery, the stored energy in the battery, to power the the load or the fan in this case. Now. Um, you can have many. You can have bigger batteries than that. Uh, you can have smaller batteries than that. You can also hook them up with multiple batteries in series, uh, which is kind of like how a flashlight works. Um, you put multiple batteries inside the flashlight, and they're connected end to end, and they provide the power for the flashlight. And in this case, you could connect these end to end and create a larger power source, more more power to draw on. I'm going to leave that explanation in, in more detail in, in a different video. But for this purpose, this is all it is. This literally is that simple. You've got a power source. You've got a device that allows that power to, to kind of move in between devices. Basically, the excess power can go into the battery and charge it. And then um, the load can also be powered from either the, the solar panel or the battery or both. Very straightforward uh, system. This is, once again, this is called an off-grid system. The next type of system uh, that, that we have is a uh, grid-tied system or an inverted system. Basically, what we want to do here is we want to take the power source, the solar panel, and we want to convert it immediately into usable energy. And Houses use alternating current. We use uh, 120 volt alternating current in the United States. So this is just a cheap inverter, again, that I use for testing purposes. And uh, it will convert the DC power from the solar panel into usable AC power. And you've got your, you know, your normal 
wall plug type plugs. You also usually will have a USB plug where you can charge a cell phone or, or whatever else. So all you need to do for this setup, there's really no other devices at all. You simply have the inverter and you have the solar panel and you just again you connect the red wire to red and the black wire to black and that's literally it now obviously a, a grid tied system needs to be installed by a professional you do not want to be working with AC power DC power is not very dangerous 12 volts is not very dangerous um, if you make a mistake you're not gonna burn your house down but if you make mistakes with AC power that's bad and also is probably illegal to do so um, and obviously there's different types of inverters. This is just a, uh, a cheapo inverter. There are also uh, more sophisticated inverters. This one is a pure sine wave inverter, which means that this one will actually be able to run sensitive electronics without damaging them. These um, kind of have a dirty sine wave uh, power. They're kind of squared off. And so they won't do very well with things like uh, flat panel TVs and, and, uh, and computers and things like that. So. Um, these are much more expensive, um, but they will have much cleaner power and they're, they're safe to use. The, the third um, one, which I, I can't show you, but is a grid tied inverter, which basically means that it will tie into the electrical grid of your power company and it will power your home, or if you don't need that power, it will sell that power back to the electric company for a certain uh, amount of money. Um, these these are a little bit less common for obviously for beginners um, because there's one there's no way of storing the power and two it takes a professional to install it and three it's prohibitively expensive at least to get started so just wanted to show you conceptually what this looks like and, and explain how it works um, I don't have this isn't in sunlight so even if I connected it I wouldn't you know I wouldn't be able to show you but basically converts 12 volts DC into 120 volt, 20 volt AC so that you could plug your TV or your computer or whatever you wanted into it and it would work. Hopefully this kind of helps you understand a little bit more about how to connect a solar panel system. Um, hopefully it was uh, beginner level enough for you guys. If you have any questions feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.